Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to Neophyte. This is a game we checked out a couple of months ago uh, during our February Alexa Lookathon that we did. This is a mini top down action roguelite where you're kind of in a Vampire Survivors esque arena based uh, kind of gameplay. But this game's kind of interesting because they continue to throw more spells and perks and, and synergies at you to kind of build up your, your run. The game has officially uh, made it to Steam. Now it's going to release for you guys on uh, August 31st. So you can wishlist it in the description down below. Um, massive thank you to Regal Pigeon, the dev, for reaching out with an early key so I can show you guys. I thought this game had a ton of potential when I checked it out uh, a couple months ago and they've added so much uh, to the game there's more arenas, uh, there's like 40 new items, there's nine more spells in the game, uh, there's now boss fights in it, there, there's all kinds of other stuff. Uh, so I'm really excited to, to recheck this one out. Let's hop in and see what's going on in, in Neo Fight. Uh, so WASDA to move, we're, we're all used to a little WASD, get ourselves moving. And into the arena we go. Uh, so use space while moving to dash. Uh, we evade all enemy attacks when dashing. Uh, and then we can grab our first spell here. So our first spell is fireball, which we, we kind of toss out a little, a little funky little fireball. Okay. I am in. We have destroyed the, the training dummy. Uh, you'll collect additional spells over the course of the run. So here we go. Solar beam. Um, so press tab or, or click the spell book icon to open your spell book. Okay, so here's all of the different spells that are in the game. Uh, like I said, there, there's nine new spells in this version of the game. Uh, so there, there's been a, a sizable increase in the number of spells. But let's equip this. Uh, so solar beam. So here, here's fireball. Launch a projectile towards a target direction. Explodes on impact. Deals 115% of your power. Two enemies in a small area as well, pretty nice. Uh, and then solar beam, so this costs mana. Channel a concentrated beam of sunlight towards a target direction. Deals 400% of your power. Wow, okay. Uh, so we'll put that right there. Very good, you cannot cast spells while your spell book is open. So now we use our new spell. So this is our left click, right? Our fireball, and then our right click, I'm using a, a mouse and keyboard for this. Uh, here's our solar beam. Okay, pretty sick, man, pretty sick. Some spells cost mana. Keep an eye on the mana bar. Yeah. Okay. Very good. I'm ready, dude. I'm ready. Just put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Uh, okay. So this is how I remember Neophyte. Um, they they kind of throw you into these uh, arena-based combat sessions uh, where you have to, I mean, basically do exactly that, right? You, you got to just kind of kill all the enemies in the wave and then once you kill all the enemies in the wave you get a bunch of rewards uh that that include new spells they include upgrading your stats there there's passive items that you get uh that kind of impact how the rest of your run is going to go it's it's a really kind of simple but slick system so you gain rewards after each round of combat uh fantastic i mean i'm basically explaining the game as we go so we're getting some kind of um currency <laughs> I don't know what the currency is. Um, hopefully not a meta progression of some kind, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so this is gain four power. You can see all of our stats here in, in the bottom. Uh, so this right here is our power. So we got 74 power right now. Uh, and then we also have this, so dynamo. After traversing seven tiles, the next damage spell you cast deals 30% more damage. Okay. So now that's fully charged, and then that's when we would use our solar beam. So you can see how you start to get th these passive items as we collect them. They, they start to really change the way that we think about playing, uh, which I love. I love that. So uh, now we get to choose additional rewards. So we got blur one. You have a 15% chance to evade incoming damage while moving. Mana cost reduced, or the first instance of spell damage you deal to enemies will be a guaranteed critical hit but our crit chance is halved. Interesting. I'll be honest, I like mana cost being reduced. So this is using 42 mana per second. So an 18% reduce of that, I don't know, you're, you're going down to like 34 mana per second. <laughs> I'm actually cracked at math, okay. Um, gaining life per second, 
don't really care um range resistance don't really get maximum mana okay so I, I kind of see the way that the build could work with the solar beam right now let's just see what happens so um i guess the tutorial is now over uh i have been officially put in coach and i'm ready to play Oh, we got some new enemies as well. Uh, got some some archers up in here. I I love, dude. I love when the uh, the kind of vampire survivors. Oh, dude, this this is actually kind of this is kind of insane with that uh, thing charging up. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. But when that thing charges up and we release the the huge mana beam. Now we have to move for it to charge. Let, let's keep that in mind. But I mean, we we melt everybody. It's it, it's pretty strong, if I'm being honest with you. I, I think we have something kind of kind of special already on this run. We're we're like what six minutes into our, our run. We we got something uh, really really quite good here. So we've unlocked another spell slot. You'll see that there's there's four spell slots, and we have received our our third spell, which is teleport instantly teleport to a target position up to 13 tiles away okay so it's just like a, a blink right that sounds good and then we also gain some life per second dash is 30 percent further and your dash cooldown is reduced that seems pretty good um there's blur one again chance to avoid incoming damage all damage taken from enemies within 2.5 tiles is reduced by 18%. Dude, give me give me the, the dash being a little further. Then give me a little more mana per second. Um, I'm really, I'm kind of digging into this whole solar beam paired with, um, paired with the fact that we have this, this extra damage output. So let, let's just, let's just look. So... Yeah, dude, it's it's considerably higher. Like, it, so watch, watch the numbers when we do this. So I mean, this is hitting for a hundred and twelve as we go through. Okay, slip through. Slip, okay. So now fire your beam. That's seventy-seven a pop to enemies. And if we do, okay, we're a little we're a little in the in the thick of it over here. But watch this, right? So this is seventy-seven. Now that thing not charged, it's sixty. So we're doing, you know, an extra 17 damage by having that beam fully charged uh, up to 100% on our, our thing. And then it's just, you know, basically hold down the, the shoot button and all of the enemies go kaplooey. Uh, I think it's good. I, I think we can legitimately just build uh, a kind of mana mana based system out of this. And I think it's interesting. So plus 12% cooldown speed. I feel like that is is bad. <laughs> Wouldn't we want less cooldowns? I, I, maybe that makes it go faster. I'm just thinking of it in a different different kind of way. Okay, maximum life increase by 30 is fine. More damage to enemies within 3.5 tiles. I mean, we're kind of more of a range person, right? So so give me give me my melee resistance increase by 15% here. Now more attack speed, I don't think I care about. More max mana, I, I'm going to tell you. I find it really hard to not be happy with, with more max mana. Right? J like, just having having the ability to hold down the shoot button. Oh, we got we got some dude going sicko mode in the bottom right. What what the heck is he? he he's going crazy? He, he's a little... Okay. Okay. I see you, dude. I see you. Let, let's... uh. Oh, I'm going to blink real quick. And, and just get the hell out of there. We, we gotta make sure we use our, our teleport when we have it available. Okay, ready? Time for all of you to burn. I'm gonna blink. Dude, I love the teleport. You you gotta, look, in, in games like this, you, you gotta use, ooh, you gotta use everything that they give you, right? So you, you gotta, you gotta use your, your beams. You gotta use your, uh, you got to use your teleports. You got to use your your little explosive balls that you got here. I'm 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 with it. I'm having a good time. Dude, Neophyte is it's a great game. It's a great little game. Um and I'll be honest with you. I mean, we we've already seen some new stuff, but a lot of this was what was already in uh the the 
early version of the game on itch. Uh, so we've unlocked our next spell slot. That's very exciting. Uh, what do you got for me here? Electric field. Summon a field of electricity at a target position for six seconds. Deal 70% of your power as lightning damage each second to enemies within five tiles. Interesting. More max mana is lovely. All damage taken is reduced by 25% while channeling. Interesting. So that would allow me to just basically sit there using my solar beam. I like it. Okay. I like it. You have plus 12 power for each equip spell on cooldown. Interesting. So we, we could like use this, use this, and then pop solar beam as like a, a quick, quick go, go in. I don't know, dude. Let's try it. Okay. Let's try. I think that that's, that's actually kind of interesting. And then we do more mana per second. And then I don't know how this is going to go. So we basically, we want to, oh, what's going on up here, dude? This, this wave looks interesting. Oh, this looks like a boss fight. This looks like a boss fight. Oh, dude, it's definitely a boss fight. Okay. We, we gotta, we gotta get out of the way. That's doing 102 damage, dude, while those things are on uh, cooldown. Holy crap. That is like actually massive legitimately massive we got some funky stuff okay there is a boss fight here though so blink use this and then just just let her let her rip a little except i wasn't at a, a hundred okay crank them we're no no mana in the tank no mana in the tank okay do do a little crowd control you know you you, you did a lot of damage to the boss mr ward in here okay dude this is it's a little spicier than I think we we maybe intended for it to be. They're 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 going crazy. They're going crazy. Okay, popping one of these. Popping one of these. Then you're you're letting her rip with your your mana. You're out of mana. You're you're straight up out of mana. Okay. You're out of mana. What do you do when you're out of mana? You you regen some mana. You just get some nice mana. Regen, do not do that, my friend. You are not allowed. Okay. Big, pop one of those. We're blinking. We're, we're maxed out. Just crank them, dude. Just crank them. We're taking less damage. No, we're not taking less damage while channeling. I didn't take that. <laughs> my guy's a little hurt. My guy's a little hurt. But we're, we're doing fine. We're, we're doing... We're extremely happy. We're, we're extremely happy. And now you're, you're taking tons of damage. You're dead, dude. Is, is actually... Come on. Come on, you you think I'm dying to the first boss in Neo fight? Absolutely not. I'm I'm too good. I'm too damn good. Look at that, man. Okay, that felt good. Is this a Do I go in this? I go in this. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. New new arena. Okay, this is this is definitely all new stuff now, which I'm I'm very quite excited about. So what are you? Battle hunger. Whenever an enemy dies, you gain plus 3% life and mana regen. That seems fantastic. No downside. Gain life per second. Very good. All damage you deal is increased by 25%, but your attack speed is reduced. Does that matter with our beam? I don't think so. You set the ground ablaze as you move. Eh, I mean, it's fine. Whenever you spend mana, gain melee and range resistance. See, here's the thing. This is the correct choice. This is fun, right? I'm I'm gonna go for the fun option. I think it's a horrible idea, but I'm gonna do it. So 8% crit damage, 8 3% crit chance. Just give me more power. <laughs> Just give me more power. I don't know, man. We're we're doing Oh, that's a poison in the arena now. Okay. We're we're getting we're getting kinda kinda weird with it now. Okay. I, I poisoned myself again. Honestly, fair enough. Just, just, oh, this does 117 by default now because of the amount of power that we have added to our build. Okay. Just, just get it, get it going, dude. What the heck? Why did you spawn me inside of there? That was not a good teleport, my friend. Not a good teleport in the slightest. We're, we're a little hurt. Okay. We're a little hurt. A little hurt, but you know what? We're, we're doing... We're doing fine. 78 is not good enough, okay? Okay, th those are also... You know what? I'm gonna go over here, okay? I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna let the beam go. Standing on the poison spot, not the most ideal 
usage of our, our walking potential. But overall, not too, too bad. What do you got for me? That's a new spell. <laughs> okay, your expert spells deal plus 20% damage. So I believe this is an expert. Yeah, the basic primary defensive expert. So this would do more damage now. That's fine. Um, we also have meteor form. So this is an expert as well. Leap into the air before crashing down on a target position up to 10 tiles away, causing an explosion that deals 270% of your power. Okay. Um, I mean, that sounds cool for sure. So let's, let's try it. Okay, let's try it. Now, can I... So I, I could theoretically run, I mean, I'm, we, we have to run that there, right? I don't know, dude, let's, let's, let's try it like so. We, we could go massive, um, like, damage route, but I think it's more important to have, we, we need stuff on cooldown to make this even better, right? So I think that's fine. What are you? Gain bonus max life equal to 20% your maximum mana pretty good okay so that we would get like an extra i don't know that's like an extra 40 percent nah not not quite an ex well it, close it's like 35 ish extra um max life something like that hail of blades whenever you cast three spells spread of three projectiles are launched towards target direction that deal 80 percent of your power so it basically, th this this would activate a lot for us because we do the use two things and then use our third, right? So that could be okay. After dashing, the next spell you cast within two seconds deals plus 18% is good too. Um, let's take this. I think that that actually kind of works. And then I'll, I'll take the extra attack speed just because we've, we've taken some attack speed um, downgrades here recently. So this is where I want to see... Okay, yeah, that's cool. That's definitely cool. The The issue that we're now having is my health is... Um, my health is not... Like, uh, defensively, we are not as good as what we were any time previous ever. Like, we, we need a little bit more defensive work on this run to make ends meet for us. Okay, we blink... I'm, I'm gonna do a, a little one of these. Huge damage, okay. 133 to all of these. Just just literally melt everything you can, then get out of the way. And then just, just you know, it's a game of circling, right? We, we, all, we all know and love the, the sweet roguelite circling. Sometimes you gotta just circle your enemies and, and let, let things smack. Look at this, man. It's so good. And then that's where you see, you're, you're seeing the, uh, the, the projectiles flying out, right? That's a, a fantastic situation. Look at this 102 damage a piece. Uh, it's just too easy. It's just too easy. We're, we're doing great. Now you focus a little bit of defensive energy. So crit damage is fine. Range resistance I like. Let, let's go some defense here. Healing potions restore mana. Okay, I mean, that's very good. After taking 35% of your max life as cumulative damage, stun all enemies. I do think that that's good. Okay. First instance of spell damage is a crit. We, we saw this earlier. I don't think that that's actually that good. I think you absolutely take that. And then I think that just gaining some max life is going to be a tiny bit more beneficial. I just want to make sure we're, we're doing... Kind of doing what we can in terms of... Uh, Making sure we're, we're going defensive along with our offense, right? And like, I'm, I'm tanking some hits here, but I, I think that that's fine, right? We, we want to, we want to be a, a delicate balance of, of going with a ton of damage and knowing that at any moment I could, you know, have that kind of just die for me. We have a little guy right here too. Okay. New, new enemies freak me out a little i will also say we're we're a little we're a little in the in the boonies in the corner over here which is not great you know you, you definitely want to you want to make sure that you get your your circle and back going again okay circle in good my memory's just been been good my angel is the the center good right we all know how it goes little one of these 
Little. Oh, uh, <laughs> get out of there. Okay. We're fine. We are fine. We are fine. I'm getting poison. I'm getting necrosis. I'm I'm getting all kinds of wild stuff right now. Just just chill. Just chill. I'm poisoned? Dude, th this place is like they they got their their poison going. They they love poison more than more than anything else. 133 to all enemies. I just got obliterated. I just got absolutely obliterated. I, I had three of those guys just full send on top of me. Um, but you know what, dude? I'm I'm pretty happy with this for a first run. We also it appears we got some some new features unlocks the reroll altar. Yo, dude, look at this. So that's what these are. It's not meta progression. It's actually just an unlock system. That's pretty cool. Um, lava chakram. New spell summons a spinning projectile that orbits you for th six seconds. Okay, that sounds cool. Dude, we're unlocking all kinds of stuff. Starting spell choice two. Interesting. And and then we still got more to go. Dude, look at this. I'm I'm loving this so far. Uh, this is the new release of Neophyte coming out August 31st. Be sure to check it out. Um, Wishlist it down below. We'll be playing a little bit more of it uh, as I'm having a, a good time. I want to see everything there is to see in the game. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.